Okay. Welcome everyone. I'm going to be teaching you guys today how to create a brush in Photoshop. Now, first thing you want to do is just have like a blank canvas, just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the marquee tool and crop this into a square because Photoshop uh, reads brushes pretty much like a square. So, you know, well, on a square canvas. So it doesn't really matter the size. So you just, uh, you know, crop this down. Okay. Now, uh, I think we'll be making a uh, square brush. So we already have the square marquee tool selected. You can use uh, any of those to make a brush or just, uh, well, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be showing you uh, other ways to make a brush later. Yeah, we'll just take this, fill this with black because Photoshop uh, reads the brushes this way. I'll explain why in a moment. Now just leave this selected. Now we're gonna select our brush tool again and we're just gonna start etching in just white lines, just, you know, white scratches here and there, just putting in some texture. Most of the brushes I use are square brushes. I find they just, um, they just yield better results. And yeah, we'll just add a little bit of texture. What I'm doing here is, you know, just adding white spots just to actually make texture for the for the brush. Because wherever it's black, that's where, you know, the um that's where the color, whatever color you select is gonna be used on, on the canvas. Wherever it's white or gray, it's gonna be less color or you know, with with white, there's gonna be none. So okay, uh Got that taken care of. Now we go to edit, define brush preset. Once you're satisfied with whatever design you have, and we are gonna call this one, I guess, square. Yeah, square brush. We'll say square brush 14. Doesn't really matter. Who knows if I'll even keep this brush towards the end. I might. Now normally what I do is I uh make a new layer first before all this. And what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to other dynamics. But yeah, we're gonna make a new layer and uh, you know, fill that with white. This way we don't paint over our brush. Oh, gotta select the brush, there we go. Now these are the brush settings, you know, you press F5 or you know, you can go up to, to the window and you know, find that from there. Now, these are other dynamics. This is very important, you know, when you have this off, you know, you just have a, you know, solid kind of brush. Let me just get rid of all this. What I normally do is I set my opacity jitter, I put it on pen pressure, as you can see. It's almost like, you know, like really drawing because it responds to how hard or how light you press. And now what we're gonna go to is brush tip size up here. As you can see, this is the matrix. As you can see, this that's the original brush and it's just repeated. That's just the way brushes are in, uh, in Photoshop. So it's whatever design and you just repeat it. Using the spacing, I usually like to put it at 14, 14 or 15, depending on it. So we'll just keep this one at 14. Yeah, and Pretty much, this is what our brush looks like right now. And I'll be rolling through the other settings real quick. Now, if you want more design to it, you know, you put scattering, as you can see, the scatter, and just play with the settings a little bit until you get something that you like. We're going to clear this up so we can see. There we go. Yeah, as you can see. Brushes like this make good for um, backgrounds, you know, sometimes painting in, uh, you know, uh, large areas of skin, stuff like that. Texture brushes, also the texture setting. I already have a default, uh, like, texture. It's just from an image that I selected, you know. 
but yeah, you can just play around with all these settings, dual brush, you combine two brushes, you know, so yeah, well, another brush that I have. So it takes the properties of both. And color dynamics, which is uh, pretty cool if like you're doing auras. So we'll just yeah select these two colors and it sort of jumps between, you know, uh, different colors in between those uh yeah in, in between the two ones that you selected I'll just go back up to shape dynamics and let's try and make it a creative brush set this to pin pressure yeah this would be a, a brush that I would normally save right here because that's a great texture. Oops, forgot. There we go. That's why normally I create a uh, new layer and then do the brush. This way I could just turn it off and on and then create another new layer. Yeah, just play with these settings a little bit. Okay, and when you're done, you click this little white box at the bottom, create new brush, and then you save it. Square brush, you could name it something else. You can delete the other one if you want. I tend to keep them. And uh, now you can also make brushes using pictures. So that's what I'm doing now. I already had a picture loaded up. Like this is just a rocky kind of kind of ground floor whatever now now we're going to do a new layer paste that on top and what you want to do is you want to kind of take the most interesting part of the picture or the uh the texture this will make a great texture brush hopefully hopefully i uh, select that and then select the inverse you know and then delete it And oops, control U to desaturate. And now what I'm going to do is go to levels, 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 levels. Oops, missed it. There, there we go. Up. Oh, levels like there, there it is. Go to levels. Just try and play with it just being in really just black and white as much as I can. All right, there we go. Now let's select this and just kind of center it. Oops. Hmm. I guess we'll get rid of that. And we'll probably lighten this up just a little bit on the edge. There we go. There, center it just a little bit. Edit. Define brush preset. And we're going to call this one Textured 14. There we go. All right, we'll go back to our brush settings. Let me turn this off real quick. Make a new layer. Now we'll go to our brush settings. And first we got to select the brush. There we go. I go to other dynamics. Pin pressure is already set on for the opacity jitter as you can see that's what it would look like without it you don't necessarily have to turn flow jitter on you can if you want we'll go to spacing this would pro this would definitely make a great like background brush just to you know uh give the background like some sort of abstract texture uh let's see play around with these settings a little bit Hmm. Let's try and turn this both these on. Let's see what we get. Yeah, yeah that would that would probably be dope. Yeah, that would make a great 
background brush. Let me just turn that off. Go to space and let's tighten this up a little bit. Leave it at 12. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. Not too bad. Okay. And let's try sketching something. Let's do a kick Goku with this new brush, just to see how it uh, how it would color real quick. Now, normally, I pro I would I probably wouldn't sketch with a brush like this because, um, as you can see, the uh, the lines are a little too sketchy for my taste. I, I would tend to, you know, want to use a um, one of my square brushes for that. But I mean, I can sketch this, as you can see. So just, uh, yeah, put that there, give him a little, nice little grin. The rest of his hair. Okay. Yeah, not the best Goku, but something quick just to color in real, real fast. Okay, so start a new layer under that. So we don't really mess with the lines too much. Just do his skin. As you can see, you see the, the texture for the And normally I wouldn't paint on white. I would fill this in with some other color first, with a neutral color, and then paint on that so I could get my values correct. Set the shade on his face. Uh, it's very rough. That's how this is pretty much how I would normally kind of block block in. Make sure this brush is a little, probably too wacky. Probably have to either tighten up some of the, uh, play with the settings. If I was to seriously use this for blocking. Shadow, sound of face, there we go. Clean that up. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's about it, as you can see. It, Fills in pretty well. And, um, yeah. this actually probably would be, wouldn't be too bad for hair. I definitely play with the settings on this to tighten it up just a little bit. But yeah, this is basically it. Uh, you know, you can play around with uh, your settings on your brush to get it to the way you like. And um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the tutorial. And uh, I will check you later.
Thank you.